Welcome to my second video. Welcome to the channel. Barrel ASMR. Pretty random name. It's supposed to be taken from surfing, but at the moment, no surfing videos, but they are planned for the future. Today's video uh, is going to be a bit of a throwback. So I'm going to be reviewing or going through my old PlayStation 1 games with the intention of doing PlayStation 2, 3, 4 uh, and maybe that will take us up to when the PlayStation 5 comes out. I've always been PlayStation, never Xbox, so I'm sorry if you get offended by that. Um, my first video, yeah, you my let's play of the witcher 3 it was on playstation 4 and that's got about i think it's now i've got 11 views so pretty big time i know so we're going to go through some games um and just talk a little bit about them what i enjoyed from them um first got a PlayStation 1 back in, I think it must have been the late 90s, um, or it was just when the PlayStation 2 came out, and I was just getting a PlayStation 1, so, but it was really good, loved it, um, had that for a couple of years, and then got PlayStation 2, and then just when the new ones came out, got a new one, so, first game we'll start off with a banger harry potter and the philosopher's stone what a game this was uh, it was probably the first sort of open world free roaming sort of game i played probably of its kind i don't know i can't think of anything else there's probably something else out there but i don't know and even though the graphics were awful, like Dumbledore's face didn't even look like a face, and the hands were just sort of blocks, no fingers or anything like that. So, but there was a lot to it, and it says, "Be Harry Potter and unlock your magical powers as you embark on an adventure through a mysterious and enchanted world. Take a thrilling ride through the underground caverns of Gringotts." Which was really difficult. That was like early in the game. You had to collect all the coins and stuff, and that was difficult, man. Discover the hidden secrets of Hogwarts and tremble as you confront the darkest wizard of all. Only with friends like Hermione and Ron are you sure to defeat you know who. A faithful representation of the magical world from Harry Potter. Learn spells and potions and magical puzzles and mini games. Battle against enchanted creatures using all of your new abilities. Collect all your favourite items from the wizarding world, including Harry's invisibility cloak, chocolate frogs, and famous witches and wizard cards, which I love collecting stuff in any game. So doing that, trying to find them all behind like fake walls, which was very obvious. Chase down Draco Malfoy on the Nimbus 2000, lead your house to victory in the wizard sport of Quidditch. So this game came out in 2001. I would have been about eight years old. What a game to start on. Next up, Formula One World Grand Prix 1999 season. So, pretty ancient. And this game just came free as like part of a bundle with the PlayStation. Normally I wouldn't have bought it, but it was a pretty good game. Featuring real teams and drivers, each car is a faithful replica. So, faithful seemed to be the, the go-to word in the PlayStation games. It's like, we'll do as much as we can to make it look like a real thing, but fail miserably. The replica of the real car used in 1999. It wasn't there. It looked like a shed, so both visually and in terms of its handling. And we had 
a, uh, a steering wheel, which was so difficult to use, especially when you're like seven years old, don't have to drive. I had like pedals and stuff, but I didn't have a clue. In fact, should you drive well, your lap times from different circuits should be similar to those logged during the real 1999 season. Wow. Crazy. Particular close attention has been paid to the realism of the circuits. They have been replicated in their entirety rather than just the immediate area close to the track. This enhances gameplay by providing a practically unlimited view. Pretty wordy. I think it was obviously aimed at older players but yeah pretty basic just a standard driving game really <coughs> another bang FIFA 2003 my first FIFA game I had don't have it here because I've lost the disc or the case this is football which again came on my playstation but that was quality again didn't really have facial details, it was just block people. Whereas this one, a bit of a random trio, Bert Carlos, Ron Giggs, Edgar Davids. But um, the characters sort of, or the players sort of did look a bit like them, which was quite good. Um, and this game is just so good compared to FIFA nowadays, which is so hard. I get so annoyed with I don't even play FIFA now, it's rubbish. Whereas this game put so many hours into. Because um, I don't think I've got another FIFA game until I got given FIFA 08, I think. But since then, never bought a game. Never bought a FIFA game. No interest. Only when I play with the lads and they fucking put like six past me. Next up, who wants to be a millionaire? Underrated. Big fans of Chris Town and the show when I was like seven. And one Christmas we got this. And um, I was convinced that money was going to come out of the PlayStation when you won. So I was there expecting a check for £64,000 to come out of my PlayStation. But nevertheless, it did. Include all the familiar features of a TV show. Phone a friend, ask the audience 50 50. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Came out in 2000. So about 20 years old. But oh, still good. Still a great game. Grand Theft Auto 2. I remember playing this around at a friend's house and thinking I need that game. Saw it in, might be like Doug H. Smith or something. Asked my parents, can I get this? And whether or not they've noticed the 18 star rating, I'm pretty sure they're right, it's an 18. I was like, it's just driving. It's just driving. It wasn't until I got home, put it on, and I was like running people over and shooting people with rocket launchers and stuff. And, and then they sort of fought twice, but I was left to play it because the graphics were so bad and the view of the bird's eye view, which actually has it up on the back. I don't know if you can see a bit of glare, but it's not like GTA now. It was all from a point of like a bird's eye view, looking down upon the city. And I don't really remember doing missions or anything like that or remember driving around in a tank and causing mayhem and then being able to like fart and burp by pressing circle I think it was um, and then there'd just be random lines of Elvis Presley impersonators walking about and if you manage to like run all of them over you got like a bonus or something like that so I was pretty much what I spent my time doing was trying to get into the, like there was areas within the map that were like blocked off so if you went in there then you'd get like a five star threat or something like that so killed a lot of time, a lot of time on this game. What we got next? Joan Loma Rugby, equal 
essential rugby game in my eyes. Even says on the back here, the best rugby game by PlayStation Pro. So they know what they're talking about. Commentary from the TV's Bill McLaren and Bill Beaumont. That fired up some classic quotes. Something about a rat up a drain pipe or like a mole. Something to do with a mole. I can't remember them now, but if you guys remember this game and remember some of the quotes, drop them in the comments, please, because that will bring back a lot of nostalgia for me. But it was, yeah, again, the graphics were terrible. Gameplay wasn't great, but you just loved it. It was just great, especially if you were Joan Lomu and just running through people and destroying them. Didn't get much better than that. And then I don't think they made a better game until maybe Rugby 08 came out. But maybe I'm just biased. Because this is from 97, so pretty old. Pretty old. I was four when that game came out. Another staple, Spyro the Dragon, Year of the Dragon, the third one. I never had Spyro 2, Spyro 1, Spyro 3. This was by far the best Spyro. Yeah, there's like six different characters that you could play out. Like a little monkey here, that bird thing, or penguin. But yeah. You could skateboard. There was a lot to do in this game. Uh, so yeah, a lot of time spent trying to collect stuff, unlocking all the, or bring back all the eggs. I think that's what we had to do. Thieves have kidnapped a brood of dragon eggs. Or elsewhere in the dragon lands, a gateway to the forgotten world has been uncovered, sent to recapture the eggs. Spyro the dragon and his best friend Sparks face a journey into uncharted territory against the most fearsome enemy yet, the sorceress. So yeah, it was pretty good. I like how one of these games as well it tells you that that one of the selling points is vibration function compatible. So a selling point for these games was vibration back in the day. Vibration. Not now. The most frustrating game I think I've ever played. Grand Turismo 2. Actually, that's a lie. I played Dark Souls 3 the other week and fucking hell, that is shite. Um, but the PlayStation 1, Grand Turismo 2, infuriated me. It was really good. Uh, the different cars you could get, different races, different tracks were top notch, but. I used to try and complete all the licenses and some of them were just like undoable. There was no way, unless you were like Colin McRae, there was no way you would get an A plus license or something like that. So, But a lot of time spent trying to get them, uh, much to the annoyance I guess to my parents because I would have been this game came out in 2000, so I would have been eight or nine, getting a little mad little boy, so, but yeah, it was pretty good though, still pretty good, and the starting song was The Cardigans, I think, Gran Turismo, which is a banger of a song, you haven't heard it, go check it out on Spotify, it's wicked. What else we got? Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, much like the first, slightly like new additions. Uh, whereas the first game took me a lifetime to complete, or it felt like a lifetime. It took me about 400 times just to try and kill Quirrell at the end. Um, this one I did in like a day, so it was pretty short, it was pretty easy. It was, yeah, just the standard. Harry Potter game with a couple of new additions, so I much prefer the first one. But this one was still pretty good. It came out in 2002, when I was nine. So I remember getting it for Christmas again. So, but it was completed by Boxing Day. <coughs> first Spyro. The first Spyro the Dragon. I just realised I've been in zero tapping. This was the dragon lands have been taken over by nasty Nork and his Nork army. All the dragons have been transformed into crystal statues, and only Spyro is left. So yeah, it was again a good game, but I preferred number three.
obviously it got remastered for PlayStation 4, but I haven't played it yet. Whereas Crash Bandicoot, I've played, I've got the remastered edition, but never owned the PlayStation 1 editions. I used to play them a lot around my grandparents, but never actually owned them myself. So when they remastered it, I was straight on it. And the last one that I have to hand was probably the worst. I don't know why I've left it to last. Shrek Treasure Hunt. Please comment if anyone else has played this game. Because I don't want to be the only one that has played this atrocity of a game. So it's Shrek and the Princess Fiona are planning a picnic. But the three blind mice borrowed Shrek's picnic materials and well misplaced them. It is now up to you to help Shrek hunt around the swamp for the missing items. And there's like 10 areas that you have to go to and play mini games and like collect just random shit basically. That was so weird. I didn't like ever completed it. I just got fucking bored of it and it's just like, what am I doing? Shrek's not even the correct colour. They don't even use the correct colour green. Like, his hand and his head are two different colours. It's pointless. Um, and again, for 2002, should have been doing a lot better. But yeah, probably a bit of a waste of money. I can't imagine it cost me much though. Probably like a fiver. That's probably like, probably a bit more than that, but... surfing ASMR videos for people who are interested in that. Like uh, kind of I've got quite a few books. I've got some books. I'm gonna look through those, review those. Um can go through different equipment, wax, leashes, fins, wetsuits. I've got quite a few wetsuits, I've got a couple of boards, so there's a lot there to do with that. Um, so until then I guess I'll get the PlayStation one out because at the moment I'm just filming on my phone so I need to get some better equipment like a digital camera and an actual microphone which might make my videos a bit better but for the time being I hope you are enjoying this so until next time see you later